If you're looking for a smooth flight with a cocktail and a luxury leather seat, flying with Noah's Hurricane Hunters might not be for you. It's no Delta flight. It's like riding a roller coaster through a car wash. On Monday, September 11th, photojournalist Jack Branca and I took off from St. Croix in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Our destination? The Eye of Major Hurricane Lee. It was a Category 3 with 115 mile per hour winds. We strapped into our jump seats in the cockpit of Miss Piggy, a NOAA P-3 Orion aircraft that's been operating since the 1970s. At 4 o'clock in the morning, we took to the skies, soothed by the sound of four propellers droning into the night. It wasn't long before the ride got bumpy. Green specks began appearing on radar screens as we approached Lee's spiral rain bands from the south. Occasional jolts became a constant rocking. Eventually, we entered the eye wall, a ring of destructive winds and tall thunderstorms surrounding Lee's eerily calm center. We flew cross-section after cross-section, bisecting the storm in search of its true center. Meteorologists on board reported wind speed and air pressure data back to the National Hurricane Center in Miami. Now these aircraft are heavily modified. There are only two like them. Most don't have this weird bump out in the back, this tail. That's a Doppler radar in there, in addition to the one in the front, so they can get as much data as possible inside the storm. The aircraft's onboard radar revealed something that satellites above couldn't see, a double eye wall. There were not one, but two rings of maximum wind towards the center of the storm. One was 70 miles wide, and another inside was 20 miles wide. That told us the storm was restructuring and undergoing a cycle of organization. Three passes in, the turbulence became constant. Truth be told, despite having a strong stomach, we couldn't help but reach for the motion sickness bag once or twice, or in the case of me, three times. See, the good news is, I skipped breakfast, so it's only dry heats, but I do need a Tic Tac. Despite needing a Tic Tac, we collected invaluable data. In addition to the data measured by the airplane, meteorologists launched instrument probes called dropsons out the bottom of the aircraft. So one thing that's key in forecast is having a vertical profile of the atmosphere. Ordinarily on land we do that with weather balloons, but we can't really launch weather balloons from an airplane. So they use drop sons, basically canisters with all the instruments you need that plummet down to the ocean below through a little suction tube like this. Right now, Lee is turning toward New England in a weakened state, but at one time, it was a beast. We'll have a full recap of our journey next week here in the MyRadar app. Until next time, gang, I'm meteorologist Matthew Capucci. Follow MyRadar on social media. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download MyRadar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, Xbox, and Windows.